Springs community, a quick presentation on Comda Habitude. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. I know it's uh, I'm terrible with these names and everything. It's just such a tough <laughs> thing to say for me, but um, great, great fragrance. Um, this one was brought to us in 2012. Now there's eight uh, fragrances to this line. Uh, this was actually the first one produced uh, in 2012, and then they did seven. Uh, well, this is counting seven. And then uh, the eighth one was done in 2013, and I don't believe they've done anything after that. So I'm not sure, um, you know, if this stuff is discontinued or not. I know uh, Oswald, where I got mine, of course you can see the receipt there, but uh, I got mine at Oswald. Thank you so much, Josie, again, and, um, and Daniel over there at Oswald. You guys treat me so well. Uh, and this one she recommended to me, and I absolutely love it. Um, but... Um, Comes in a hundred mil uh, size, only a hundred mil milliliter, and it's a uh, hundred eighty dollars. Like I said, this one was brought to us in two thousand twelve. The perfumer behind it is Felipe Bosatin. Uh, the notes are bergamot, lemon, mandarin. Uh, the mid is going to be cinnamon, cardamom, cardamom, coriander, chamomile. Time and then your base is going to be patchouli, vetiver, incense, and resins. Um, getting into the presentation, I really like it. Um, <clears throat> this basically just covers the box, which is nice. So it just kind of wraps it. There's your box, of course. Uh, very well done. Uh, again, nice and hard, so it'll protect it. And then this is that really, really nice foam. Uh, so the bottle just sits in there excellent i mean very nice so that it doesn't um you know bounce around or anything so i like a nice box for a fragrance because if you do store them or put them away or traveling or anything um you know they're going to be well you know they're they're going to be nice and taken care of in there uh, bottle presentation is really nice uh, pretty simple but but nice gives you the some information there here's your batch number of course and everything 3.4 and all that there sprayer excellent spray and um, this one excellent uh, stuff very potent so you, you can go easy on the on the trigger and then your cap it's um, actually wood so a nice wood wood cap for it and it does fit very snug so you can you know pick it up with from the cap and everything so but there's presentation for Comda Habitude Hey fragrance community, thank you guys so much again for joining me. Uh, another fragrance review. Um, this one, it, it's amazing. I, I really, really love this fragrance. Uh, of course, I love a lot of them, but this one is, uh, it, it's amazing. It's a, it's a perfect blend, um, you know, between deep, dark, and bright, uh, citrusy, resins. I mean, it, it's amazing. So, uh, the first spray of this, you're going to get some, some citrus. Uh, you know, you're going to get some mandarin in there, uh, there's some orange a little bit, some bergamot, which is really, really, it's bright and uh, it's kind of fresh. Uh, but right away, after like 15, 20 minutes, the resins, a uh, little bit of incense comes in there, and then the, the, just this deep patchouli, which is just amazing. Um, and if you don't really like patchouli, resins, things like that, you might not like this one, but this one is just so, it's got this like fruity vibe off the top but it's I know it's that citrus and, and mandarin you know working together uh, but then it just automatically gets into this kind of like this deep mysterious uh, it's just amazing amazing scent um, this is it lasts a long time too so for like the first four or five hours you're really gonna get some you know brightness to it I know there's some time in there um, then you got some cardamom in there that, that comes through um, seven eight hours you know it's going to get a little bit close to the skin but it's still coming off really really well because uh i mean this projects at least four to five hours on me strong projection which is good but it's not a crazy fill the room projection either it's it's like a good arm length you know pr projection which is really nice that that's kind of how you want your fragrances to be you don't want them to be exploding but you want them to be nice because you want to smell it too you know and you want people to smell that that's kind of in, in close encounters with you you know uh so you know, seven to eight hours, it does get a little bit close to the skin, but it's still there. And uh, that's when you're just going to get the really nice patchouli. Uh, it's going to dry down. What's nice about this one, it, it still stays bright. You know, there's no sweetness to it. There's no vanilla or labdanum or anything like that that's going to sweeten it up. It still has that bright, you know, kind of bitter citrusy punch to it, which I love. That's what I, that's why I kind of brought this, um, you know, to, to my spring list. 
Uh, this would work great for spring or fall. Uh, it can work in the winter. It does have that you know projection and longevity, and it is you know kind of darker, you know, kind of vetiver. You know, it does have some resins and some incense in there that could definitely work for winter. But spring and fall, I think this is just a. It's going to be a rock star for for those um, you know occasions and everything. So basically, you know, your projection four to five hours longevity. I get twelve plus. I mean, easy twelve plus hours. This is this is beast mode, um, people. Beast mode. So, uh, you know, kind of got into the smell. I really can't describe too much I would just say like you know you're walking through you know maybe like a forest or something you got like some earthiness going on with the the vetiver uh, patchouli but then you have some brightness so maybe you got some like lemon trees and some oranges you know orange trees going on I know you don't really get that in the forest but I'm trying to describe it the best I can so it's tough to describe this one because there's a it's like kind of a lot going on but it's such an awesome blend you know like I was saying about the whole springtime it's just a it's it's a it's a it's kind of a bright darker fragrance which is which is cool you know you don't see that a lot so great uh juice i love this one like i said longevity is excellent occasions i would say you know if you are going to wear it probably you know daytime would definitely be would be good i wear it to work and people like it around me actually you know i do get some compliments on it uh, but i also like a nice cooler spring night would work too because it is so potent you know what i mean so i would i would love that for for that occasion uh, definitely, you know, it's versatile, you know, restaurant, you know, going out to eat, you know, wearing it to work. It's, it's, a, it's a nice fragrance. Again, if you're not into that kind of incense patchouli, vetiver, you know, bitterness, you know, it, it's not going to be for you. But, but if you guys are really into that nice complex fragrances, this one is a rock star. I love it. So, but again, all around, um, you know, it, it performs so well that, that it really makes it special, you know. Uh, $180 for 100 mil seems pricey, but it's not bad for this. This is, you know, three sprays I, I shoot on the June, you know, one here, one one behind the, the, you know, on the side of the neck here, and just one in the middle, and that's what I go with, and it literally lasts me all day long, 12 plus hours. So, uh, but Josie, I wanted to shout out to you again. This she's always, you know, bringing me on the fragrances. This one I got a, actually a couple of years ago, and. And I'm starting to, again, I'm just starting to wear a, a, a lot of these fragrances that I, that I, you know, purchased a while ago. And I, it's just, it's just unbelievable. I, I love this fragrance. So Josie, shout out to you. Thank you. And Daniel, great guy over there at Oswald. And, and both you guys are always looking out for us and just a, just a great job at um, what you guys do and how you kind of get our taste and fragrance and everything. So, but thank you for that. Uh, I know I'm dragging this out again. I'm trying to do shorter reviews and they never are short. I just got to keep dragging on. So I apologize for that. But Get your nose on this. I would love to hear your thoughts. It's cool because it's not really a house that's talked about. Um, I know there's a couple other fragrances uh, to the house, you know, that are that are that are out there, and I think people have smelled. But uh, get your nose on this one. This one is just my favorite from the line. I just I love this blend. It's got that brightness to it. Um, you got a little bit of darkness, you know, some earthiness to it, and uh, just a, just a great fragrance. So thank you guys so much again for always tuning in and uh, bearing with me with these crazy reviews, but I appreciate it and we'll talk to you soon.